I'm still so tired, but I wanted to show the peonies that I bought over the weekend. Finally bloomed, but like I was barely home this week because I was just like in the office. Um, like I almost missed seeing these bloom. Last time I ordered this, the chicken was so raw, but it looks it looks fine today. Yeah, it looks normal. Thank God. Mm. I booked a core power sculpt class. I've done this before, like pre-COVID and maybe like mid-COVID, but I haven't been. And I wanted to try it out because they're like insanely hard and you want to die throughout the entirety of the class, but it is so freaking effective. All right, I'm officially on my way out. This, I have, I'm pretty shamed because it's not a Lululemon yoga mat and I feel like all the bitches at Core Power uses like Lululemon only, but you know, whatever. I think I'm ready. Let's get it going. bought these these are really good i haven't had them in years i didn't know it was an abbott brand okay so i got home thoughts about the class the yoga class i this is completely my fault but i didn't drink that much water throughout the day and i was really really dehydrated during the middle like i was doing fine like when we were like down and stuff but then when we stood up I was so lightheaded <laughs> and I had to like compose myself a couple of times, but again. I was gonna not spend money all weekend, do my own thing, but I realized why not? So Stars on Ice is coming to Seattle tomorrow and the arena is like a 10 minute walk. So I just bought the cheapest tickets. It was $40 and I'm gonna go by myself. I'm so excited. Good morning. It's almost noon. I slept until 10.30, felt so good. I'm gonna go shopping <laughs> and I'm not just going shopping, but Seattle's getting warm. It's really cold today, but it hits like mid 70s from like next week. So I didn't bring a pair of shorts and I need a pair of shorts. So I'm going to go look for that right now. It's kind of a struggle to get to U Village from here. I'm going to go now. So I'm gonna go with. I wanna 
$140, which is insanely expensive. I really wanted to like these, this brand because it was only $70, but I don't think I can. It's so cheap though. Okay, I just got home. Um, it was actually a really like quick trip because the buses came one after the other and it was awesome. Awesome. What the heck am I working? But I got this shirt. Cute. I got it in black too and then I ended up with these shorts. I'm not a huge fan of the rips, but they fit the best. So I'm reaching the six month mark of starting YouTube and the growth has been a lot more difficult than I had anticipated. I was hoping to get monetized within six months, but I'm like nowhere near it, which is fine. I understand. It's a lot of work and I knew that and I'm willing to like stick through but I think I need to kind of shift my gear a little. So not only am I doing like vlogs, but at the same time, no one really wants to watch a random person's vlog. People like to watch vlogs of people who like, you know, have a presence on YouTube. So even though I really enjoy doing stuff like that, I think I need to do like more searchable content, which I didn't want to do you know, in the beginning, but I think it is time. So I'm like trying to think of ideas on what content I can do. And I do have a couple of ideas for the next month, but hopefully that'll like help. Like the what I eat in a week videos really help. They do really well, but If you filmed a what I eat in a week, I'm sure you can vouch for me, but it's so much work. home it's like 6 so I gotta head out soon the show starts at 7 30 so I guess I'll leave at like 6 30 okay so I'm heading out <laughs> I'm just wearing very random clothes I feel like I'm gonna be the oldest person there I'm going alone I just checked my seats and I think people bought the seats around me which is like not ideal but whatever uh, I'm not gonna drink coffee because then I'm gonna have to be. All right, so I'm not gonna take my camera because they have a no camera rule, but I am headed out. <sighs> I am so excited. Let's go. It's like really rainy, windy, and uh, pretty cold. Love Seattle. Thank 
champion, Nathan Chen. Just got back. It was great. It was really, really good. I'm really glad I went. I did not stay for the final number because there was a lot of people there. I just wanted to catch Nathan Chen's um, Rocket Man at the end and then I left. It was really good. However, Vincent Zhou was really good. Like, he, he's a really good, like, performer like I would put Jason Brown Vincent Zo, and then Nathan Chen now, I know Nathan has quads and stuff but if you follow skating at all Okay, so game seven is starting, as you can tell, and I am really nervous for the Celtics, not gonna lie. Brown and Tatum leading the way for the Celtics with eight points apiece so far. Smart. Got it. Marcus Smart laces. <laughs> Ninety seventy nine Celtics. Six thirty left in the fourth quarter. Oh. Get it. Oh shit. Oh my god. I'm so tired. I just filmed a really quick video. Um, not necessarily like, I just wanted to try it out. And if I had to be completely honest, it's more for myself than other people. Um, I spent way too much money this past month. So I wanted to put a video out to hold myself accountable. So hopefully it could potentially maybe be a new series. Plus, um, like, I'm not trying to spend that much money next month, so we're being accountable in June.
click like and subscribe.